Hello and welcome. I am Harish and in this channel we talk about building without coding with AI being almost everywhere. I know you've heard of gen AI based applications where you can build anything or use ChatGPT's APIs or Bard or Vertex AI to build uh, AI based applications. We have a new tool, a new kit on the block from AWS this time. And uh, in this video, we're going to see how to build gen AI based applications using AWS's Party Rock. So let's get started. All right, Party Rock is a AI based application generator from AWS. It uh, is a AWS Bedrock based application. Bedrock is where AWS uses foundational models and makes them accessible across AWS. AWS is the hosting or uh, the, the web services platform from Amazon where you can uh, host your applications, build websites, or do a lot more. They have too many tools in AWS. But this tool is from AWS, but doesn't need you to add your credit card or uh, or pay for building generative AI-based applications. This is also a great way to learn how Gen AI-based applications actually work and how you can build your own app using Party Rock. The best part of what Party Rock is, it is very simple to use. Uh, just needs an account. You can sign in using Apple or Google or even Amazon account if you already have one and then you can get started like you can see on the screen I am showing you the landing page of the website I'll give you the link to this tool in the description below or it is partyrom.aws you can see there are three examples of uh, what you can build there is a user input where you can capture what the user wants and then the LLM will take care of building the application for you I'll show you what I built and also show you a demo of how you can do it too Let's quickly see what the what the website or the tool is about. It's you can also see that these are all the examples of apps that are featured, which means you can open them, try them out first. Let's see. Let's see the movie recommendation app. Like you can see, the these three are user capture fields, which is the genre, language, and favorites, comedy, English, and animal handlers, and then you have movie recommendations. You have the top most popular movie recommendations generated by AI, and you can also talk to AI. If you have any questions extra, I'll show you how to add these all into your app. You can remix this as in make this your own by clicking on remix. You can create your own app based on this app that you see on the screen. Or you can create a snapshot of this specific result and share it with your friends. Or just share the entire app with anyone that you want to use the app and see how, how they can do it. Uh, they can do generations using AI. You can also go to discover and see what others are doing. There are a bunch of uh, categories like you can see on the screen and people have created multiple apps. Let's go back to the home page and see how to build our own one yet. So if you scroll down, these, these are like I showed the featured ones. Then there are categories of uh, different types of apps that people are building using this. And this is how what you can do using uh, Party Rock. Party Rock Obviously, like I said, gives you the most powerful foundational models from Amazon Bedrock. This is also a great way to do hands-on uh, learning of how things work, how LLMs work, how Gen AI works, how you can build your own one with a simple prompt. And you can also learn prompt engineering and see what different prompts generate, uh, what results. Uh, best part is it is free as of now, and you don't need to pay anything for AWS also. So why don't you just go Try it out, right? Once you log in, this is what you see, right? Describe what you would like your app to do. What we are going to do in this specific example is create a simple application that gives book recommendations for the user based on the genre they like and their favorite author, right? So let's get into it. Right, so my prompt is build an app that gives the user book recommendations based on the genre they like and their favorite author. I am not a prompt engineer or a prompt expert. This is my basic prompt that I would write to talk to the AI. And this is a way to understand and also improve your prompts if you don't like the generated app. So the next step is obviously generate app and it will generate the entire application for you. It is a web application. I'm guessing it will work on mobile also. I haven't tested it on, on mobile. But if it is a link, I mean it should load in some form on mobile also. So let's see what happens uh, once it generates the app. That's all. I just finished saying it. It generated the app for me. It says get person. Like you can see, there is a title that says read with me. Uh, it has a descri description also, which is get personalized book recommendations. 
based on your favorite genre and author. I'm gonna quickly zoom in. Yeah. So you can you can customize this, I believe. I mean, you can't customize this. You can't customize this also, but you can click on edit, right? And then you can customize. That's how you do it. You can add additional description if you want. And uh, you can also add widgets, extra widgets. I'll show you what more I mean by that. Let's see how let's see how this works first, right? Let's see let's see what my favorite genre is. Uh, let's say sci-fi. And um, favorite author is H.G. Wells. Now I should say recommendation. If you can see at the bottom, there are two recommendations that I'm getting. Both uh, look different. Uh, while there is an overlap of some books that I'm getting recommended, this is what the AI will generate for you. It is giving me two recommendations, two results of recommendations. I can choose to use uh, the one I like, right? And you can also ask it to retry once it finishes generation. And then there is a retry button here. You can also copy the output. You can also edit and see what you can do, right? So this is the prompt. And this is the model that was used to generate the first recommendation. And if I edit the second one, and this is also a, the same model. And this is the prompt that was used for generating the second one. You can see the difference between these two prompts. One is recommend an interesting book in the genre that we gave. If you can see, when I'm hovering over the variables here, variables are the user inputs in this case. It is highlighting what is being inserted here so that you can understand and learn quickly. You can also change the model. These are all the models that are available currently. You can change the model and get new results. What I'm going to do is change the first recommendation to cloud instinct. And you also have advanced settings. You can change the temperature and top P. I'm going to save and let's see what it recommends now. I'm going to say retry. Now this is a different model compared to the right one. This is what it recommends. It recommends just one book when I, when I change the model. That's how you learn what happens if you change the model, right? And this is the chat. You can chat with the AI. You can also decide which model. Here it is uh, Cloud. Uh, here it is Cloud. Uh, the model being used for the chat, you can also update it to the model you like. You can also change the text that appears in the user input box, right? And additionally, you can also create your own widget. Now, let's say we want to add a banner to this, right? It looks so dull without an image. Images always create a better uh, looking app, right? This is an app at the end of the day. So when I click on create a widget, these are all the things that you can create. You can all additionally create a new user input field. You can additionally create a static text, which is which is the one that we saw at the beginning, which is the title and the description. And then you can also do text generation, image generation. I'm going to do image generation. We already have a chatbot here, right? So I'm going to do image generation. It appears as widget six. I want to say banner. And then this, again, we can customize the model, but only one model is available right now. I want to say an image of favorite genre. Uh, yeah, you can customize the prompt here, but I'm going to just leave it. Favorite genre is the user input again. So it's going to give me an image of sci-fi. That I'm going to click save. And it has already generated the image, right? I can just drag this and paste this on top and expand this so that it is visible to the user. That's the image generated from Stable Diffusion Excel. Now I can download the image or I can do edit and change the widget settings. Apart from that, now you can say create a copy or create a snapshot. Once you create a snapshot, your app will become public or you can also do make public and share. That should give you a link to the app itself, right? Once I have a link, I can copy it to clipboard or you can make it public. But anyone with the link can essentially open the app and use it uh, and see the output. But make sure you never give any sensitive data to any of these tools that you use and keep it to learning. Right, so now my app is available. I'll give you the this app link in the description for this video for you to check it out. But if we open this in a new tab as an app, you can see that it loads pretty much the same things, which is it is generating. It is going to generate once my favorite genre is filled. So I'm going to again do right file here, and it should generate. Right now, I'm going to give the same author for the sake of uh, the demo. And it is generating now. You can see that the image is being generated. The recommendations are also being generated and uh, different models, different recommendations. You can also talk to the chatbot. This is a chat widget. If you don't want the chat widget, you can always delete widget from the right side. I'm going to say confirm. That's all. That's 
if your release changes, the link will get updated and anybody who is using this link can use it. This is the image that you generated. You can change the size by dragging and dropping the image when you're editing the app itself. And yeah, that's partyrock.aws from AWS that you can use to learn how LLMs work, uh, generate or create your own apps using Party Rock. It is free right now. So make sure you go try this tool out and see uh, if it is worth your time and also learn. This is a great way to learn how LLMs work, especially with everything being democratized so easily and accessible these days with Gen AI. Why don't you go try it out and share whatever you've built in the comment section below so that we can take a look. If you like this video, drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel because this channel is all about building without coding. And I'll see you in the next one with a new tool. Peace.